we go to the software and we go to test and we choose the vertical calibration to check if the print head, wet print head and the color print head, we have good alignment, a, a good physical installation. If we cannot get a good vertical calibration, we cannot get a good printing quality. So we go to choose vertical calibration. Also, we must be sure we already load the film to the printer. Everything is done before printing. And also, the nothing is stay on the surface of the table to, to uh, block the print head moving. And also, we need to choose the wide angle open. Then we press vertical calibration. Then the printer starts to print the vertical calibration picture on the film. Okay, after we did a good nose check print, we can be sure the white print head and the color print head also can print with good nose check print result. And also the ink loaded to the print head already. Then we can start to do a calibration for the print head to be sure the print head installed with good correct precision. So we go to the software and we find out test and we go to vertical calibration. The horizontal calibration we don't need to do it. We just need to do the vertical calibration. Place the vertical calibration. Then the print such a print the test print picture. By two pass print. So we can see the print out pic picture. And we must be sure that this is the first attempt to print out. And this is the second attempt to print out. We must be sure the first time print out the lines. And the second, second time print the lines must be connect together. Subject like this. Subject line. If it is print out first like this, and then the second thing like this, it's not good. So we need to use alignment print head. We need to go to the print head and we load the print head a little bit by this way to move a little bit more strict. So means if print out like this, we need to move the print head a little bit physical to this position, literally. And we just need to little adjust the screw here, here, to make, it, and also loosen the print head screw here. Not the print head screw, but the print head adapter aluminum pallet here, here, and the left side too. Four screw. After loosen a little bit, then we need to adjust this big screw to make sure the print head load a little bit to right, to the top to right. So this is the vertical calibration. So in one word, if a print head like this, we need to adjust the print head. For example, this is the print head. We must adjust a little bit uh, this way. That means we adjust we adjust a little bit like this. So this is correct. And if the print out result is like this, this is the first pass, and this is the second pass. It's not straight line, not connect together from the bottom and the top. So that means the print head also not installed good. So what we need to do, we need to make the print head a little bit. This is the print head, this is the print head. To go by this way, little adjust. So little adjust the print head by this way, to the right. And after adjust, the print head will be like this. Is the correct. Anyway, we must be sure the print out 
not to check the print out vertical calibration picture like this. The first pass, the second pass, the lines is struck. It's not overlap and not must be connect together. Cannot be like this or like this. All of these are not good vertical installation for the print head. And also we can see the vertical print head calibration the lines at here for the color print head and for the white print head at the front. So we do the same to do the calibration for the white print head and color print head to be sure it have good physical installation. Then if we have some go after we print, we check the picture print out. And if we have some uh, occlused, not straight lines, then we do some little alignment calibration from the print head installation from the carriage.